Hi everyone, so welcome to another fantastic 5 MCQ session for upcoming NEET PG and FMG. Uh, we will be discussing 5 MCQs. Let us start with the first one. The question is 5ST 1A partial agonist used in anxiety is. So try to answer this question. Bupropion, Buspirone, Budesonide, Buprenorphine, all of them sound similar. But let us avoid the confusion. Yes, if you are telling buspirone, yes, your answer is correct. Buspirone is a 5ST1A partial agonist used to manage anxiety. Now, which anxiety it is used? It is used to manage chronic anxiety conditions. They don't work in acute anxiety. But what is the drug of choice for chronic anxiety or or general anxiety disorder it is SSRIs then what is the drug of choice for acute anxiety a person having acute anxiety then what is the drug of choice it is the benzodiazepines the z or Zolans are used for acute anxiety because they work quickly and they can relieve the anxiety quickly now what is bupropion and what is budesonide let us discuss let us discuss here now before i go to the discussion you tell me a drug which is a 5st 1b 1d agonist which drugs are these please answer me this in the comment section now other options let me discuss for you bupropion bupropion belongs to NDRI noradrenaline dopamine reuptake inhibitor it is a drug used for smoking cessation smoking stopping and also it is a atypical antidepressant atypical antidepressant the name is called bupropion it is a atypical antidepressant the name is bupropion so i told you two condition it is used one is smoking cessation and it is an antidepressant drug but two complications of bupropion is it can itself increase anxiety and it can increase seizures it can increase seizures so very very important it can increase anxiety and it can increase seizures the other two options if you see you have two other options one is called budesonide. Budesonide is <clears throat> when you become bude, you have to sonaye. That is an inhaled corticosteroid. It is an inhaled corticosteroid. And that is used in bronchial asthma prophylaxis. Buprenorphine. Buprenorphine is a mixed acting opioid. It's a mixed acting opioid. So how mixed acting is it? It is considered as partial mu agonist. It's a partial mu agonist, but a kappa antagonist. And the name is buprenorphine. And the most important question asked about buprenorphine is it is used for which is used for to treat what? Opioid dependence. So, if you want to treat opioid with dependence, we use methadone or buprenorphine in that patient. So, here the answer is buspirone. So, can you comment a mixed acting opioid which is which is a mu antagonist, kappa agonist, and the name starts with P or the name starts as penta. So, guess the drug opioid name. So let us move on to the next MCQ. Which drug which acts through decreased neutrophil recruitment is? Option A, sodium chromoglycate. Option B, colchicin. Option C, aspirin. And option D, allopurinol. Usually the questions should be complete where they are used. It is usually gout condition. So if they tell gout, obviously the answer will be colchicin. Colchicin is going to inhibit the actions of microtubule and because of that 
the neutrophil cannot move properly to the site of inflammation and because of that colchicin is used to manage acute gout so it in decreases neutrophil chemotaxis the name is called colchicin which is used in acute gout what is the drug of choice for acute gout the drug of choice are NSAIDs NSAIDs are the drug of choice you can give diclofenac, indomethacin, ibuprofen another drug which can be used for acute gout these are called as steroids so three drugs are given for acute gout NSAID, colchicin and steroids now the question asked is which NSAID should not be given in acute gout the answer will be aspirin why aspirin should not be given in acute gout because it itself increases uric acid and worsens the gout then what about sodium chromoglycate so you can see here a drug by the name sodium chromoglycate this is a mast cell stabilizer and it is used for prophylaxis of asthma prophylaxis of bronchial asthma another drug which is going to be used is nidochromil so these two drugs are used for prophylaxis of asthma the mechanism of action is mast cell stabilizer the mechanism of action of aspirin is it inhibits cox is it reversible or irreversible irreversible and what about allopurinol allopurinol inhibits an enzyme called xanthine oxidase and that is the drug of choice for chronic gout so if they ask in the exam what is the drug of choice for chronic gout the name is allopurinol so what you have to tell me what are the drugs which are called uricosuric drugs tell me uricosuric drugs which are used in chronic gout and also tell me the enzymes which are used in chronic gout so in the comment section you have to put the answers for the drugs which are uricosuric drugs and enzymes used in chronic gout so with that we have found the answer for this question b colchison now coming to the third mcq drug used as anti-smoking agent so for smoking cessation what drug is used that is the question now buspiron i told you buspiron bus remember the snake snake does bus sound and there is anxiety so buspiron is used for anxiety so it is used for chronic anxiety varenicline is the drug now varenicline is a nicotinic partial agonist which is used for smoking cessation so now varenicline is a nicotinic partial agonist used for smoking cessation apart from that what are the other drugs used bupropion and the third option is nicotine replacement therapy where we give nicotine in the form of patch lozenges gums inhalers like that so among three options for smoking cessation varenicline bupropion nicotine replacement therapy comment or tell your answers in the comment section which is the most effective treatment which is the most effective treatment for smoking cessation then other options are pregabalin and his brother gabapentin pregabalin gabapentin where are they used these are used in neuropathic pains they are used for diabetic neuropathy post herpetic neuralgia and they are the drug of choice for a recent update restless leg syndrome acamprosate naltrexone so if you read these two what comes to your mind acamprosate naltrexone where they are used which addiction they are used they are used to decrease craving in alcohol you remember a mnemonic by the nota naltrexone modansetron topiramate and acamprosate these are the drugs to decrease craving in alcohol so the answer for this question will be varenicline it is also called as varenicillin 
let us move on to the next mcq next mcq what is the rationale for combining imipenem with silastatin now imipenem belongs to a beta lactam and that is called carbapenem so we have imipenem doripenem ertapenem meropenem like that in that why imipenem is combined with silastatin is the question let me tell you now imipenem will come in the urine in the kidney there are enzymes which will metabolize imipenem so the enzyme is called dehydropeptidase so if this enzyme metabolize imipenem in the kidney imipenem will be short acting so we came with a drug which inhibits this and the name is called silastatin and silastatin inhibits this and because of that imipenem will be longer acting the drug becomes longer acting not only that it also decreases the toxicity of imipenem but remember there are so many penems but all the penems have the risk of seizures and maximum seizure risk is seen with imipenem so you should be very careful so coming back to the question what is the rationale for combining imipenem silastatin to reduce the side effect correct to increase the duration of action of imipenem combination is bactericidal no this is not to inhibit beta lactam is no so in any exam it is they want the best option even though we know there are two important uh, conditions options which are correct but the purpose is to increase the duration of action of imipenem that is the best option we can choose now many, many a times when a drug ends with statin we get confused don't confuse that statin with atrostatin so silastatin is different please remember it is combined with is combined with imipenem pentostatin is different pentostatin is an anti cancer drug ni statin is an anti fungal drug similar to amphotericin b so that is why when you remember statin remember for your exam as was statin these are the one which are used for these are used for dyslipidemia condition that's why they are wa means vascular statins and never get confused with these statins which may confuse you in the future that should not happen so coming to the answer for this question the answer is it increases duration of action of imipenem right so that is about the fantastic 5 mcqs and the last question we are there drug of choice for ventricular tachycardia after mi so ventricular tachycardia after mi the drug what we use is usually amiodarone since amiodarone is not in the option then i can go with lignocaine so lignocaine propranolol digoxin atropine so what is the drug of choice lignocaine since amiodarone is not there lignocaine they can ask you it is not effective in which arrhythmia it is not effective in atrial arrhythmias so it will not work in atrial arrhythmia propranolol is a beta blocker now digoxin inhibits sodium potassium atps so because of that it is used to manage congestive heart failure and also it has av blocking property that is vagomotor property that's why it is also used in atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter suppose a patient is having chf and atrial arrhythmia then we can give digoxin atropine is used for two arrhythmias one is called bradycardia and one more it can be used in heart block heart block so one simple thing you need to understand in anti arrhythmics you have to remember various arrhythmias and drug of choice so study from your book then classification of anti arrhythmics there are 1 2 3 4 and a miscellaneous class 1 is sodium blocker class 2 beta blockers class 
potassium blockers and class 4 calcium channel blockers but remember sotalol even though it is a beta blocker it is placed under class 3 because because it also has potassium channel blocking property and class 1 has three subtypes 1a 1b and 1c so you tell me in the comment section which category 1a 1b 1c the lignocaine belongs to and please study the adverse effect of amiodarone also which is frequently tested so with that we will wind up this fantastic 5 mcqs any doubts you can ask in telegram and follow in instagram so you can also mail the doubts in this so thank you all happy learning take care